Hey people, welcome to another video for the channel and talking about, yes of course, Star Citizen. Now, this is one of those games that has you frustrated, angry, happy, smiling, crying all at once. And it is wonderful at times, it is horrible at others, the company just doesn't seem to get anything right and when by accident something does work they have no better idea than to go fix it folks if it's your first time here do subscribe to the channel i'll have more content uh, as time goes by I, I actually have some tutorials but unless this is finally worked out and we have a solid patch that makes it you know worth your time I'm not gonna be uploading it yet because what would be the point? So many people even can't play right now. So, uh, as always, if it's your first time considering playing Star Citizen, follow my advice. Get yourself uh, an Aurora MR. Uh, don't spend more than your 45 bucks. You don't need any of that. This ship that you see, I bought it in game. The C2. Uh, do use the referral code if it's your first time. You have my referral code there below in the description. If you use mine, I would appreciate it. Uh, and if you use uh, a friend's, he would probably appreciate it too. So you have mine over there. But again, take it you know, from someone that's been playing for a couple years now. You will have more fun if you don't spend more than your 45 bucks for an Aurora, maybe an Avenger Titan. Trust me, not more than that. Some of the more fun ships, it's better if you buy it in-game. You don't have a whole lot more to do than that. And that brings me to the next point, which is, what is it there to do? Well, not a whole lot. This is mostly a wonderful uh, tech demo of what a game could potentially be one day in a far, far distant future, which seems to be further away as more time, as more money goes by. What I mean by that is it's been a fantastic business for the people behind the company and they focus mostly on this, on launching new wonderful ships and not a whole lot of game content. What you have right now is probably what you will have for a long, long time. And the marketing department does take care of trying to convince you that there's a whole lot going on. There's new exciting things just around the corner. Always just a few more months. Always just two years away like Squadron 42. Reality is, no. But we have a good time with what we have because we often make that. And one of the things that apparently by accident ended up happening is that you can make quite a bit of money in-game, which is the only thing worth doing. Making money in games just to buy these damn cool things, the ships. You either buy them with real money, this is like $600 or $400 worth of real money worth of ship, or you can buy it in game. Trust me, it's a lot more fun when you buy it in game. So there's this little uh, bug in terms of buying, a, you know, trade for hauling and drugs and that sort of thing where you just move the bar just a little bit and it fills up a whole one standard cargo unit with a little bit of money you do that again and it gets even lower and you repeat that it takes a heck of a long time but you finally end up loading up your ship for very little money and making a heck of a lot of money so everyone is trying to do the same thing this means that what you're cheating the game? No, it's a game. It's supposed to be fun. Nothing here matters. It's alpha after all, isn't it? Well, the thing is, you can make money in game, you can buy ships in game easier than doing pretty much anything else. And there's also the pirating aspect of that because people know that guys are doing that with their ships. So they go down, shoot you down, blow the crap out of your ship and steal the loot because that's something possible within this game mechanic. And it ends up being very exciting and it ends up being a whole lot of fun and suddenly you find, you know, ships blown up and lots of boxes scattered and sometimes you make a good run and you sell it and you make a little bit of money and sometimes you gank someone and steal from them. And that is all fun and games and that is all entertaining. Now, fixing this would be the most idiotic, most stupid thing because I think that easily 80% of the people in the server right now are either buying the drugs or stealing from someone buying the drugs. That would be the only fun thing to do right now. Doing the same old bunker yet again, it is not fun for, for anyone. Why the hell would you do that when you can go to something that has a lot more risk re reward um, you know, for your time? It, it just 
makes no sense to do anything else. And it ends up working, you know, interestingly enough, it ends up working like Jump Town in terms of everyone trying to do... Th I don't even bother with Jump Town anymore. Uh, Jump Town for me is, hasn't been fun for a while. Last time I did, it was just blasting people with, with my A2 and just pissing people off. Which is part of the game too. I mean, yeah, maybe you go down and steal a couple boxes of, of drugs. But this is a lot better because there's several places where you can actually do this. So it's not as fixed in terms of the entire server shooting at one another. Here, you can be a little bit more you know, squirrely and move around without getting shot down. And depending on where you do it, yeah, with a smaller ship, you can maybe gank a few boxes and go or maybe buy some drugs and, and get lucky. Uh, maybe you hire a couple of guys just to do uh, guard duty for you. So basically it encourages this, this thing that in theory the game was supposed to be about. Now, if there's no reward worth your time, why the hell would you do it? Why the hell would you get involved in all of this game mechanic if you're not being properly compensated for your time? You want to do something in which, yeah, you make enough some enough money to buy something cool, something interesting. And if they fix this, you know, glitch, uh, that will no longer be the case. So if they have any common sense whatsoever, they will allow this to go on because it is really the only thing fun it's been the most fun in game in the in, in the entire year all year long this has been the most fun i've had in star citizen so far and the idea that they're gonna be fixing this it is just stupid and makes no sense whatsoever anyway guys it's gonna be all for now if you like the video leave a thumbs up see you next time take care